Hey guys, as promised, this is the rear coilover install. Everything came out great. I do plan on finishing up the front. My part that I ordered seems to be lost. It's been stuck in some USPS facility in Akron, Ohio for three days. But other than that, I gotta be patient. So, E46 rear coilover install begins now. All right guys, so step one, I'll probably be getting those nuts removed. And then there's another one right here and this should fall right down. I pulled all the panels out and it was pretty much uh, just a waste of time because even if you take the panels out, you still can't get to the mounting nuts. So I just looked it up and we're gonna have to lift the convertible top halfway so we can get to them. Don't mind the umbrella, it's hot as balls out here. All right, well the convertible up uh, halfway, just get it halfway until this little latch goes up, and then you just kill the you know, kill the ignition. This is where you want to focus. Behind these little rubber grommet things is how you get to your strut mount nuts. Uh, I see one, and then there's some insulation right here that I'll have to peel back. I think I peeled it back right there. There's two. Get yourself a magnet and uh, extension, and they're 13 millimeters. Two up here, two over there. I also, um, you don't want to leave this thing hanging halfway. I use my little bars for uh, my jack and just kind of put one on the actual uh, window on the top and then another one to hold up the actual latch door. for this thing to fall by getting a jack ready. Now we're gonna take the top two nuts out. And this should come right out. You want to go ahead and get a magnet handy. I do have a magnet. Ah, son of a bitch. Just one. And there's two. I'm gonna go get the new one. We should have new mounts and everything to assemble it. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to get the spring off. I'm gonna lower the assembly here. Okay. Alright. Okay. Plan B. I'm gonna go get my pry bar. I'm gonna go ahead and bottom these out. I could remove this, but eh, I'm gonna leave it on for now. I'm gonna go ahead and use the old top out there.
Okay. Okay, guys, this doesn't sit flush on the control arm. I've tried it every other way. I've tried it up there, doesn't sit flush. I've tried it with spring pads, no spring pad. Um, I'm guessing that's just the way I'm gonna have to run it. Uh, I don't see how else it could be done unless they just sent me the wrong size. Uh, if you guys know, let me know um, and I will correct it. Uh, but I'm going to put it on like that for now. It shouldn't do any damage. I don't think it's going to go anywhere. So I decided to use or reuse these uh, these parts off the old uh, shock mount. Um, apparently the refresh kit from ECS does not have these parts in it. So we got to reuse what we have. All right, D strut, bump stop, got it. This one, this is the big dome washer. This one goes down towards the bump stop. Then it goes shock mount. Okay. Then it goes shock mount gasket. Then it's this washer with the gasket on the back. That one goes up top. Then this is bad boy here. should work now. All right, so I have the bottom shock uh, bolt attached, ah, semi-tight. Um, there you go. That's just for it to hold it, and then we're gonna jack up the uh, assembly so we can put the three, or the, I'm sorry, so we can put the two nuts on up top. We have these reinforcement plates by ECS Tuning. And we're gonna try to shimmy these in here. Let's see, I can't see. Ah, shit. I dropped two of the nuts down there and I fished them out through the trunk. The easiest way I found is to close it and go in through the trunk with small hands and fit the nuts in first. Otherwise you're gonna be fighting with yourself. This one's good to go, I'm gonna tighten it. The reinforcement plates, they don't fit, they don't fit this way, they go this way. And when you get them, you'll understand what I'm saying. So Hopefully the next side will be easier than this. All right, so this thing is in finally. You wanna to torque this to 74 foot-pounds, and then those two up top, you're gonna to do 21 foot-pounds on the two nuts on top. All right, I'm gonna put the wheel back on and we'll get started on the second, second side. Thank you. 
Okay, so there you have it. Hopefully that helps anybody that's having trouble. The ride height did eventually end up settling about another half inch. Um, I'm gonna show you the finished product right now. So that's pretty much it guys. New brakes and wheels coming soon. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.